Yoga Vasistha Sanskrit, Yoga Vasistha IAST, Yoga Vasistha is a philosophical text attributed to Valmiki, but the real author is unknown. The complete text contains over 29,000 verses. The short version of the text is called Lagu Yogavasistha and contains 6,000 verses. The exact century of its completion is unknown, but has been estimated to be somewhere between 6th century to as late as 14th century, but it is likely that a version of the text existed in the first millennium. The text is named after sage Vasistha who is mentioned and revered in the seventh book of the Rigveda, and who was called as the first sage of the Vedanta school of Hindu philosophy by Adi Shankara. The text is structured as a discourse of sage Vasistha to Prince Rama. The text consists of six books. The first book presents Rama's frustration with the nature of life, human suffering and disdain for the world. The second describes, through the character of Rama, the desire for liberation and the nature of those who seek such liberation. The third and fourth books assert that liberation comes through a spiritual life, one that requires self-effort, and present cosmology and metaphysical theories of existence embedded in stories. These two books are known for emphasizing free will and human creative power. The fifth book discusses meditation and its powers in liberating the individual, while the last book describes the state of an enlightened and blissful Rama. Yoga Vasistha teachings are structured as stories and fables, with a philosophical foundation similar to those found in Advaita Vedanta, is particularly associated with DRSTI SRSTI subschool of Advaita, which holds that the whole world of things is the object of mind. The text is notable for expounding the principles of Maya and Brahman, as well as the principles of non-duality, and its discussion of yoga. The short form of the text was translated into Persian by the 15th century. Yoga Vasistha is famous as one of the historically popular and influential texts of Hinduism. Other names of this text are Maha Ramayana, Arsha Ramayana, Vasistha Ramayana, Yogavasistha Ramayana, and Nyanavasistha. Nomenclature The name Vasistha in the title of the text refers to Rishi Vasistha. The term yoga in the text refers to the underlying yogic theme in its stories and dialogues, and the term is used in a generic sense to include all forms of yoga in the pursuit of liberation. In the style of Bhagavad Gita, the long version of the text is called Brihat Yoga Vasistha, wherein Brihat means great or large. The short version of the text is called Lagu Yoga Vasishta, wherein Lagu means short or small. The longer version is also referred to simply as Yoga Vasistha and by numerous other names such as Vasistha Ramayana. <laughs> Chronology The date or century of the text's composition or compilation is unknown, and variously estimated from the content and references it makes to other literature, other schools of Indian philosophies. Scholars agree that the surviving editions of the text were composed in the Common Era, but disagree whether it was completed in the first millennium or second. Estimates range, states Chapel, from as early as the 6th or 7th century, to as late as the 14th century. The surviving text mentions Vijnanavada and Madhyamika schools of Buddhism by name, suggesting that the corresponding sections were composed after those schools were established, or about 5th century. The translation of a version of the text in 14th to 15th century into Persian, has been the basis the other limit, among scholars such as Farquhar in 1922. Atreya in 1935 suggested that the text must have preceded Gaudapada and Adi Shankara, because it does not use their terminology, but does mention many Buddhist terms. Das Gupta, a contemporary of Atreya, states that the text includes verses of earlier text, such as its 3.16.50 is identical to one found in Kalidasa's Kumarasambhava, thus the text must be placed after the 5th century. Das Gupta adds that the philosophy and ideas presented in Yoga Vasistha mirror those of found in Advaita Vedanta of Adi Shankara, but neither mention the other, which probably means that the authors of Yoga Vasistha were scholars who lived in the same century as Shankara, placing the text in about 7th to early 8th century. The shorter summary version of the text is attributed to the Kashmiri scholar in Hananda, who has been variously dated to have lived in 9th or 10th century. Topic. Evolving text theory Mainkar states that Yoga Vasistha probably evolved over time. 
The first work, states Mainkar, was the original ancient work of Vasistha that was an Upanishad with Brahmanical ideas, a work that is lost. This text was, suggests Mainkar, was expanded into Moksapaya in or after 6th century, which is now commonly known as Lagu Yogavasistha. The Lagu shorter version was then expanded into the full editions, over time, in the centuries that followed the completion of Lagu Yogavasistha. The syncretic incorporation of Buddhism and Hinduism ideas happened in the Lagu Yogavasistha edition, states Mainkar, while ideas from Kashmiri Shaivism, particularly the Trika school, were added to the growing version by the 12th century. Similar serial expansion, revisions and interpolation is typical in Indian literature. Peter Thomey has published additional evidence in support Mainkar's theory on Yoga Vasistha's chronology. The oldest surviving manuscript of the Moksapaya or Moksapaya Shastra has been dated to have been composed in Srinagar in the 10th century AD. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Author. The text is traditionally attributed to Valmiki, the author of Ramayana. Scholars seriously doubt the larger version of the text was authored by Valmiki, and consider the attribution as a mark of modest respect and reverence for him in the Hindu tradition by the actual unknown authors or compilers. The author of the shorter version, the Lagu Yogavasistha, is generally considered to be in Hananda of Kashmir. Topic. Structure The text exists in many editions of manuscripts with varying number of verses, but similar message. The full editions contain over 29,000, to a few with 32,000 verses, and in some editions about 36,000 verses. An abridged version by Inhananda of Kashmir son of Jayanta is known as the Lagu Little Yoga Vasistha and contains 6,000 verses. The verses of Yoga Vasistha are structured in the genre of ancient Indian literature, called Grantha. In this genre, each sloka verse in the text is designed to equal 32 syllables, while conveying its message. A grantha can be sung in depending on its meter, set to specific raga music. This genre is found in bhakti movement literature, and Yoga Vasistha's Advaita theories and monism influenced the grantha literature of Sikhism, whose primary scripture is called Guru Granth Sahib. The Yoga Vasistha is a syncretic work, containing elements of Vedanta, Yoga, Samkhya, Saiva Siddhanta, Jainism and Mahayana Buddhism, thus making it, according to Chapel, a Hindu text par excellence, including, as does Hinduism, a mosaic-style amalgam of diverse and sometimes opposing traditions. The text consists of six books. Book 1, titled Vairagya Prakaranam Exposition of Dispassion, which opens with Rama frustrated with the nature of life, human suffering and disdain for the world. Book 2, titled Mumukshavayahara Prakaranam Exposition of the Behavior of the Seeker, which describes, through the character of Rama, the desire for liberation, the nature of those who seek such liberation, and the need for self-effort in all spiritual pursuits. Book 3, titled Utpati Prakaranam Exposition of the Arising and Birth, describes the birth of all creation as well as the birth of spiritual side of Rama. Book 4, titled Stiti Prakaranam Exposition of the Existence and Settling, describes the nature of world and many non-dualism ideas with numerous stories. It emphasizes free will and human creative power. Book 5, titled Upashama Prakaranam Exposition of the Patience and Tranquility, discusses meditation to dissolution false dualism, to feel oneness and its powers in liberating the individual. Book 6, titled Nirvana Prakaranam Exposition of the Freedom and Liberation, the last book describes the state of an enlightened and blissful Rama. The last book also has large sections on yoga. The Nirnaya Sagar version of Yoga Vasistha manuscript has 1146 verses in the first book, 807 in second, 6,304 verses in third, 2,414 verses in the fourth book, 4,322 in the fifth, while the last is longest with 14,296 verses, for a cumulative total of 29,289 verses. Topic. Content This is one of the longest Hindu texts in Sanskrit after the Mahabharata, and an important text of yoga. It consists of numerous short stories and anecdotes used to help illustrate its ideas and message. The text shows the influence of Advaita Vedanta and Saivite Trika school. In terms of Hindu mythology, the conversation in the Yoga Vasishta is placed chronologically before the Ramayana. 
The traditional belief is that reading this book leads to spiritual liberation. The conversation between Vasistha and Prince Rama is that between a great, enlightened sage and a seeker of liberation. The text discusses consciousness, cosmology, nature of the universe and consciousness, the ultimate dissolution of body, the liberation of the soul and the non-dual nature of existence. Topic. On who is ready for spiritual knowledge The Yoga Vasistha states that there are four characteristics that mark someone who is ready for spiritual journey. Senses the difference between Atman soul and non-Atman. Is past cravings for anyone or anything, is indifferent to the enjoyments of objects in this world or after. Is virtuous and ethical with Sama equality, Dhamma self-restraint, temperance, Uparati quietism, Taitiksha patience, endurance, Sandana uniting, peace and Sraddha faith, trust has mumushatawa, that is longing for meaning in life and liberation. Topic. On the process of spiritual knowledge Yoga Vasistha teachings are divided into six parts, dispassion, qualifications of the seeker, creation, existence, dissolution and liberation. It sums up the spiritual process in the seven bhumikas, Subhesha longing for the truth, the yogi or sadaka rightly distinguishes between permanent and impermanent, cultivates dislike for worldly pleasures, acquires mastery over his physical and mental organism, and feels a deep yearning to be free from samsara. Vikarana right inquiry, the yogi has pondered over what he or she has read and heard, and has realized it in his or her life. Tanamanasa attenuation, or thinning out, of mental activities, the mind abandons the many, and remains fixed on the one. Sattvapati attainment of sattva reality the yogi at this stage is called brahmavid knower of brahman in the previous four stages the yogi is subject to sansita prarabdha and agami forms of karma he or she has been practicing samprajñata samadhi contemplation in which the consciousness of duality still exists Asamsakti unaffected by anything the yogi now called brahmavidvara performs his or her necessary duties without a sense of involvement Padartha Abhavana sees Brahman everywhere, external things do not appear to exist to the yogi now called Brahmavidvaryas, in essence there is a non-cognition of objects as the separation between subject and a distinct object is dissolved, and tasks get performed without any sense of agency Sansita and Agami karma are now destroyed, only a small amount of prarabdha karma remains. Tariya perpetual samadhi, the yogi is known as Brahmavidvaristha and does not perform activities, either by his will or the promptings of others. Topic. On liberation In Chapter 2 of Book V, titled as The Story of Iksvaku, the text explains the state of nirvana liberation as follows. Liberation is peace. Liberation is extinction of all conditioning. Liberation is freedom from every kind of physical, psychological and psychic distress. This world is not seen by the ignorant and the wise in the same light. To one who has attained self-knowledge, this world does not appear as samsara, but as the one infinite and indivisible consciousness. <laughs> On Jivanmukta The Yoga Vasistha describes the Jivanmukta, or liberated person, as follows abridged from the 1896 translation by K. N. Iyer. He associates with the wise. He has reached the state of mind, which sees happiness everywhere. To him, neither sacrificial fires, nor tapas, nor bounteous gifts nor holy waters have any meaning. He is replete with wisdom and friendly to all. He is desireless and in his eyes there is nothing supernatural. His state is indescribable and yet he will move in the world like anybody else. His mind will not be bound by any longings after karmas. He will be indifferent to joy or pains arising from good or bad results. He will preserve a pleasant position in the happy enjoyment of whatever he obtains. He is never affected by anything, whether he is in a state of jiva consciousness or state of shiva devoid of the jiva consciousness. He is same whether he moves in a family or is a solitary recluse. He feels unbound by the delusions of srutis and smritis. Nothing matters to him, he is unaffected by griefs or pleasures. He is distant, he is close, he in the one reality of Atman. He is neither clingy nor arrogant. 
He has no fear of anyone, no anger against anyone. When the attraction towards external objects ceases, then there yet remains the internal craving which is called Trishna thirst. The Jivanmukta is beyond Trishna. He is, not becoming. He does not even long for salvation. He is content. A Jivanmukta will always transact his present duties, but neither longs for things in the future, nor ruminates upon things of the past. He is a child amongst children, as old men amongst the old, as the puissant amongst the puissant, as a youth amongst the young, compassionate and understanding with the grieved. In him is found nobleness, benevolence, love, clearness of intellect. Topic. On samsara and reality The Yoga Vasistha describes samsara and reality as follows Samsara is mundane existence with rebirths. The universe is full of samsara driven by moha delusion, bondage, tamas destructive, chaotic behaviors, mala impurity, avidya and maya. Ignorance feeds samsara, self-knowledge liberates. Samsara is ephemeral and unreal. With birth, death is inevitable. Topic. Commentaries The following traditional Sanskrit commentaries on the Yoga Vasistha are extant. Vasistha Ramayana Kandrika by Advayaranya son of Narahari. Tatparya Prakasa by Ananda Bodhendra Sarasvati Basya by Gangadharendra Pada Kandrika by Madhava Sarasvati Topic. Influence Yoga Vasistha is considered one of the most important texts of the Vedantic philosophy. The text, states David Gordon White, has served as a reference on yoga for medieval era Advaita Vedanta scholars. The Yoga Vasistha, adds White, was one of the popular texts on yoga that dominated the Indian yoga culture scene before the 12th century. Indian freedom fighter Vinayak Damodar Savarkar has praised Yoga Vasistha. Quotes from his autobiography, My Transportation for Life. All of a sudden I fell upon the Yoga Vashistha, and I found it of such absorbing interest that I have come to regard it ever since as the best work on the Vedanta philosophy. The propositions were so logical, the verse is so beautiful, and the exposition is so thorough and penetrating that the soul loses itself in raptures over it. Such a fine combination of philosophy and poetry is a gift reserved only for Sanskrit poets. When I used to be lost in the reading of the Yoga Vashistha, the coil of rope I was weaving dropped automatically from my hands, and, for hours on end I lost the sense of possessing the body and the senses associated with that body. My foot would not move and my hand was at a standstill. I felt the deeper yearning to surrender it all. All propaganda, all work seemed such a worthless task, a sheer waste of life. At last the mind and the matter asserted their sway over the body and swung it back to work again." The practice of Atma Vichara self described in the Yoga Vasistha, has been popularized due to the influence of Ramana Maharshi, who was strongly influenced by this text. Translations Indian languages Originally written in Sanskrit, the Yoga Vasistha has been translated into many Indian languages, and the stories are told to children in various forms. Telugu translations Complete translation Vasishtha Rama Samvadam, Sri Yelswarapu Hanuma Ramakrishna. Yogavasishtha Raidayamu in seven parts by Kuppa Venkata Krishnamurti, also rendered into English by Vimuri Ramasam. Yoga Vasistha Ratnakaram, Sri Vidya Prakasananda Jiri Swami Copies of the Telugu and English versions were also published by Avaduta Data Pitham, Mysore 570,025, India Topic. Malayalam translations Vasishtasuda, Yogavasishtasaram is a translation and commentary in Malayalam by Professor G. Balakrishnan Nair Persian 
During the Mughal dynasty the text was translated into Persian several times, as ordered by Akbar, Jahangir and Darashika. One of these translations was undertaken by Nizam al-Din Panipati in the late 16th century AD. This translation, known as the Jug Basisht, which has since became popular in Persia among intellectuals interested in Indo-Persian culture. The Safavid era mystic Mir Findariski d. 1641 commented on selected passages of Jug Basisht. Russian The unabridged text is currently being translated into Russian and published by Swamini Vidyananda Saraswati. First five books are completed by 2017. Topic: <inaudible> English translations. Yoga Vasistha was translated into English by Swami Jyotirmayananda, Swami Venkatasananda, Vidvan Balusu Venkateswaraulu, and Vihari Lal Mitra. K. Narayanaswami Iyer translated the well-known abridged version, Lagu Yoga Vasistha. In 2009, Swami Tehamayananda's Yoga Vasistha Sara Sangra was published by the Central Chinmaya Mission Trust. In this version the Lagu Yoga Vasistha has been condensed to 86 verses, arranged into seven chapters. <laughs> Portuguese translations Yoga Vasistha was translated in 2018, from English into Portuguese by Eleonora Meyer for Satsang Editora Brazilian publisher of the version of Swami Venkatasananda and it is available at www.lohasatsangeditora.com.br, ISBN, 978-85-92598-26-6 Paginas, 848 Swami Venkatasananda. 1. Complete translation the Yoga Vasishtha Maharamayana of Valmiki, translated by Viharalala Mitra 1891 OCLC 69536992 abbreviated versions Valmiki 1896. Yoga Vasishtha, Lagu, the smaller. Trans. K. Narayanaswami Iyar. Madras, Thompson & Co. p. 346 pages. OCLC 989105. Venkatasananda, Swami. Vasisthas Yoga. Albany, State University of New York Press. p. 768. ISBN 0 585 06801 1. OCLC 43475324. Abbreviated to about one third of the original work. Venkatasananda, Swami The Concise Yoga Vasistha. Albany, State University of New York Press. p. 430. ISBN 0-87395-955-8. OCLC 11044869. A shorter version of the above. The Essence of Yoga Vasistha Shri Vasistha Sangraha. Compiled by Sri Nyanananda Bharati. Translated by Samvid. Samadha Books 1982, 2002. ISBN 81-852084-X. Printed in India. 344 pp. Yoga Vasishta Sara The Essence of Yoga Vasishta. An English translation from the Sanskrit original. Sri Ramanasramam, Taruvanamalai, 1973, 2005. ISBN 81-88018-45-7. 36 pp. The Essence of Yogavasishtha. Compiled by Sri Nyanananda Bharati. Translated by Samvid. Samadha Books 1982, 2002. ISBN 81-85208-14-X. 344 pp. Tehamayananda, Swami, Yoga Vasishtha Sara Sangraha. Central Chinmaya Mission Trust, Mumbai 1998. Jyotirmayananda, Swami, Yoga Vasistha. Volume 1-5. Yoga Research Foundation, Miami 1977. http wwwyrforg In Hananda, Pandita The Yoga Vasishta Abridged Version. Trans. K. N. Subramanian. Chennai, Sura Books. p. 588 pages. Valmiki 1930. Yoga Vashisht or Heaven Found. Trans. Rishi Singh Garwal. Santa Barbara, USA, author. 
p. 185 pages. Topic. See also. Valmiki. Vasistha. Topic. References. Topic. Sources. <references>